In the kaleidoscopic world of celebrity intrigue and opulence, few names shine as brightly as the iconic Stevie Wonder. Renowned for his unparalleled musical genius and timeless contributions to the rhythm of our lives, the curiosity surrounding Wonder extends beyond his melodic mastery to the realm of his lavish lifestyle. From the extravagant fleet of cars that echo his artistic diversity to the sprawling mansion that whispers tales of success, Stevie Wonder's lifestyle is a symphony of luxury and accomplishment. All the details you need are right here in this video. Let's dive in now. Stevie Wonder, the American musical virtuoso, wears many hats a musician, singer, songwriter, and record producer. Widely recognized as a genius in the realm of multi-instrumental composition and songwriting, Wonder's musical journey began at an early age when he was signed to Motown Records at just 11 years old. Boasting an impressive repertoire of 30 number one hits, including classics like Superstition, Isn't She Lovely? And I Just Called to Say I Love You, Wonder has clinched an unparalleled 25 Grammy Awards, securing his position as the most awarded male solo artist in history. His accolades extend beyond the music scene, with inductions into prestigious halls of fame such as the Soul Music Hall of Fame in 2012, the Songwriters Hall of Fame in 1983, and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1989. Stevie Wonder, born Steveland Hardaway Judkins on May 13, 1950, in Saginaw, Michigan, is a musical legend now at the age of 71. Standing tall at 6 feet or 1.84 meters, Wonder's journey through life is as fascinating as his musical prowess. On August 6, 1973, a significant turning point occurred when Stevie Wonder was involved in a car accident that left him in a coma for four days. The aftermath brought an unexpected consequence as he temporarily lost both his sense of smell and taste. Fate took an interesting twist exactly 15 years later when he welcomed his son, Kwame. In a moment that echoes across musical anecdotes, Stevie Wonder reportedly once halted Lil Wayne's lively chatter at a party, asserting his desire for silence during a club performance. The clash of worlds one of a musical virtuoso and the other a rising rap star adds a unique chapter to Wonder's colorful life. A more recent chapter unfolded on July 6, 2019, during a concert in London's Hyde Park where Wonder shared with the world that he would be undergoing a kidney transplant in September. This revelation showcased the resilience of a man whose life has been marked not only by musical brilliance but also by personal challenges. Stevie Wonder's personal life has seen its share of complexities, with three marriages and nine children from five different women. In 1970, he took the plunge into matrimony with Motown singer-songwriter Serena Wright, a union that saw an amicable divorce in 1972. His journey through marital chapters continued as he tied the knot with fashion designer Kai Millard in 2001, marking a 12-year partnership that concluded in 2012. The Symphony of Wonder's romantic life crescendoed in 2017 when he exchanged vows with Tamika Bracey. Aisha Morris, born in 1975, is Wonder's oldest child from a previous relationship with Yolanda Simmons, whom he met when she applied for a secretarial job at his publishing company. The melody of their connection inspired Wonder's hit single, Isn't She Lovely? Aisha, herself a singer of merit, has shared the stage and recording studio with her father, forming a harmonious partnership in the world of music. In 1977, Wonder and Simmons welcomed a son, Hida, into their lives. The tapestry of Wonder's family expands further. With the inclusion of Mumtaz Morris, born in 1983, from his relationship with Melody McCulley. The identity of the mother of his daughter Sophia and son Kwame remains a mystery, adding an element of privacy to Wonder's familial narrative. His second marriage to Kai Millard brought forth two sons, Keeland and Mandela. As the third of six children, Wonder's entry into the world was marked by adversity, being born six weeks premature. The challenges of his early days, combined with the oxygen-rich incubator, led to a condition known as retinopathy of prematurity, resulting in blindness. Despite this obstacle, Wonder's upbringing was deeply rooted in the love of his family. The strains of his parents' divorce at the tender age of four didn't deter the young artist. Alongside his siblings, he relocated to Detroit with his mother, where his early exposure to music unfolded in the choir of the local Baptist church. It was here that the seeds of Wonder's musical journey were sown, with his soulful voice echoing in the sacred halls. The richness of Stevie Wonder's musical prowess became evident early on as he effortlessly embraced instruments like the piano, drums, and harmonica. His blindness, far from being a limitation, 
heightened his sensitivity to sound, paving the way for the creation of vibrant and colorful music that would resonate across generations. Motown CEO Barry Gordy recognized this prodigious talent, and at the age of 11 in 1961, Wonder signed with Motown. Recognizing his youthful status, Motown devised a unique five-year contract, safeguarding Wonder's royalties in a trust until he reached the age of 21. He and his mom were paid a weekly stipend of $2.50 to cover their expenses. This is the equivalent of about $21 today. At the tender age of 11, Wonder made his debut with Tribute to Uncle Ray, his first album comprising covers of songs by the legendary Ray Charles. Following this, he showcased his instrumental prowess in The Jazz Soul of Little Stevie. Joining the Motown Review in late 1962 marked a pivotal moment, propelling Wonder into the heart of the music industry. A standout milestone in his early career was a 20-minute performance at Chicago's Regal Theater in 1963, later released as the live album, The Twelve-Year-Old Genius. The single, Fingertips, from this album soared to become a major hit, catapulting Wonder into the limelight. As he continued to evolve as an artist, the period between 1968 and 1970 witnessed a string of chart-topping successes, including hits like, I Was Made to Love Her, For Once in My Life, and the iconic, Signed, Sealed, Delivered, I'm Yours. The latter track, Signed, Sealed, Delivered, I'm Yours, marked a significant milestone as Wonder's first ever self-produced song. Wonder signed a new contract with Motown Records, which was a precedent at Motown as it gave Wonder a much higher royalty rate. This move signaled not only a shift in Wonder's career but also a momentous change within the Motown landscape. The year 1972 marked his return to Motown with the album, Music of My Mind, a herald of his evolving sound and creativity. The late 1972 release, Talking Book, solidified Wonder's musical legacy, featuring chart-topping hits like Superstition and You Are the Sunshine of My Life. These two songs not only dominated the charts but also clinched three Grammy Awards, showcasing Wonder's prowess as a songwriter and performer. The subsequent album, Inner Visions, in 1973 continued this streak, boasting hits such as Higher Ground and Living for the City, both reaching number one on the R. The 1980s witnessed Stevie Wonder at the zenith of his fame, with albums like Hotter Than July, 1980, and Stevie Wonder's original Musiquarium, 1982, solidifying his status as a musical icon. In 1984, he left an indelible mark with the soundtrack album for The Woman in Red, featuring the Oscar-winning song, I Just Called to Say I Love You. His musical journey continued through the 1990s and into the new millennium with albums like Conversation Piece, 1995, and A Time to Love, 2005. Beyond the studio, Stevie Wonder remained a dynamic force on the stage, captivating audiences through North American tours and notable performances, including a memorable appearance at the Obama inaugural celebration in 2009. His versatility extended to the realm of soundtracks, evident in the 2016 collaboration with Ariana Grande for the animated musical, Sing. As he ventured into the contemporary music landscape, Wonder's commitment to innovation remained unwavering. In October 2020, while promoting his recent singles, Through the Eyes of Wonder, and The Gospel Inspired by Lula, Wonder hinted at upcoming projects. These include a potential album featuring both singles, Through the Eyes of Wonder, and another future album, The Gospel Inspired by Lula, suggesting a continuing collaboration with his roots at Motown. His main source of income is music, and he has earned significantly through his deals with Motown Records, including a $21 million deal in 1971 and a $13 million deal in 1976. Besides his music ventures, he adds to his earnings through concerts and brand endorsement deals. As of now, Stevie Wonder's net worth stands at an impressive $200 million. And with all the success mentioned above, we see that he owns many extremely valuable assets. First to mention is the Mansion in Beverly Hills. Mansion in Beverly Hills, nestled atop the scenic 600 Clinton Place, a stunning condominium graces the foothills of the Santa Monica Mountains, offering breathtaking vistas of the city and the Pacific Ocean. With four bedrooms and eight bathrooms, this lavish residence is now available for a discerning buyer at an asking price of 11 million United States dollars. The abode, constructed in 1970, is an oasis within a gated complex on a lushly landscaped ledge, 
featuring an underground four-car garage, a fitness center, and an office space. Boasting the prestigious zip code 90210, the residence occupies just under half an acre, offering a total interior space exceeding 6,000 square feet. Upon ascending the expansive square steps, one is greeted by a double-doored entrance leading to a columned foyer, unveiling a living room adorned with a fireplace and a bar. The well-appointed kitchen boasts ample cabinetry, an island, and generous counter space, complemented by a separate formal dining room. The residence, characterized by its panoramic sea and urban views, extends its allure to the backyard, showcasing an oblong swimming pool and a covered patio area with a roof supported by slender white columns. Previously available for rent at a princely sum of $59,000 per month. This exceptional home offers not just a dwelling but an experience, a synthesis of luxurious living and panoramic beauty in one of the most coveted locations in Los Angeles. Bel Air Mansion In December 2021, Stevie Wonder has acquired a luxurious mansion in the exclusive Bel Air neighborhood for a staggering $13.9 million. The opulent residence, spanning nearly 20,000 square feet and situated on half an acre in the prestigious Bel Air Crest, was previously owned by the late Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Faisal bin Saud Al Saud. Built in 2009 in a Mediterranean style, the mansion boasts 11 bedrooms and an impressive 15 bathrooms, offering a glimpse into the lavish lifestyle it promises. This palatial estate comes complete with an attached staff area for added convenience. The master suite, a testament to luxury, features a spacious bedroom, a bathroom of bedroom proportions, and a private terrace that adds a touch of exclusivity. The residence's history unfolds as Prince Muhammad acquired the house in 2012 for $13. 3 million, a year before his marriage to Princess Madawi bint Abdullah bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. Throughout their ownership, the royal couple opted to rent the property for a princely sum of $75,000 per month. The interior of this Tuscan-style abode showcases decadence, with listing photos revealing lavish furnishings adorning various rooms. The kitchen, a culinary haven, boasts a large center island catering to both aesthetics and functionality. The mansion further comprises an office, a formal dining room capable of seating 12 guests, and an impressive 2,550 bottle wine cellar. Accessibility is enhanced by an elevator servicing the three floors of this palatial residence. The rear of the mansion unfolds into a covered patio space, seamlessly connecting with an outdoor terrace leading to an inviting pool and spa. This residence stands as a symbol of elegance and sophistication, reflecting Stevie Wonder's discerning taste in real estate. Notably, this acquisition adds to Wonder's existing portfolio, which includes another residence in Bel Air, two homes in the Hollywood Hills, and a property in the sought-after area of Alpine, New Jersey. Additionally, he holds ownership of several commercial properties in the San Fernando Valley, underscoring the iconic musician's footprint in both the world of music and high-end real estate. Thank you for watching the entire video. Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this, and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.